What is up, everybody who's not here live yet, but probably watching on YouTube later? I am Rick Chappell. This is the Song in the Day live stream. Song in the Day, Song in a Day. I don't really know the name yet. Song in a Day live stream. Number seven, I believe, right? Yeah, number seven. As always, I have no clue what I'm about to do. Uh, but as a little uh, slight twist, I really don't this time. Usually we play a game where I pick a tempo and a key ahead of time or somebody picks it for me or whatever, but that that part is prepared. I know the beep boop and I know what key I'm supposed to play in. But today we're going blind. So I guess the first question is what guitar should I play? Because that's my main instrument. Uh, my head. Actually, the first question is why am I caught? There we go. My headphone was stuck in the chair. Oh, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> well, I get set up. Okay, what guitar should I play? Hey, kitty cat. I'm thinking keep it simple today, so let's go with an acoustic guitar. I will be here one sec. This thing, oh, this has a good story to it. I had a guitar just like this. This is a Gibson J45. The Gibson J45 I used to own had a cutaway in it. It was a 2017 model, I think, or 2018. I can't quite recall. But it was exactly like this, but with a cutaway. I loved it, but always wished I had the full body one, honestly. Like that was like a little bit of buyer's remorse, you know? And that didn't kick in for years, but then when I finally did, like, I don't know, you know, we've all been there. You buy something great, you love it, but turns out there's one in red or whatever. So I got my job at the uh, local music store, and I was like, well, I'll keep my eye out for a trade-in or something. You know, if I can ever find a good deal on a full-body one, I'll trade in mine and get that. Clearly, you can tell that's what happened. So this one came in. It was a little unique in the, the previous owner who had had it for like uh, three weeks or so. He had filed down the nut and tried to set it up like the best he could for himself. And then turns out he's notorious for doing that and doing a very bad job of it. So he returned it. And then uh, we were like, ah, we'll just send it back to uh, the other store. Because he didn't even buy it at our store. He bought it at the White Rock store, I think. I don't know. Anyways, I got this thing. I swapped out all that stuff that he, you know, changed. And actually, right before I bought it, Chad Kruger from Nickelback almost bought it. He came into the store, and that was another fun story, but we'll get to that later. I should write a song instead. And why can't you hear it yet? There we go. It sounds great plugged in. It uh, kind of just always does the thing you want it to do. So without further ado... Let's start writing music here. So, step one is actually to get this logic set up. I always forget to warn you, that kills the microphone for a second. Okay, let's get cozy. We're in standard tuning. I have a uh, acoustic guitar. I don't know the tempo, so let's just play guitar maybe. This is a different experience writing this way. Usually, the way these episodes start is since I have the tempo going, I'll get drums or something going right away because there's a beat in a tempo. But now we just got to feel something out. Mm-hmm. 
kind of like some of these chords, but we'll see. to come up with a cooler part there. Now you should remember how to play it. <clears throat> and by remember, I mean learn. And what's that tempo? It was like one, two, three, four. I have a little thing on my phone. I can tap and then it'll tell me. the tempo button uh, music folder delay tool boop 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 107 ish sure let's try 107 107 this might be loud <laughs> was that it yep 107 let's just roll with this i told myself i was going to come up with like more solid ideas but I don't know what that really means. So we're just going to keep throwing crap at the wall and seeing what happens. Let's do that before I forget it. I kind of lost my feel there. Also, my guitar is a little quiet. Ah, no, don't fuck with that. It'll be fine. It's a demo. Da do do ba. There was a big old mistake in there. But at least we can take a breath, because now I remember what that is.
Okay, let's send this off. Safari. Bam, copy, paste. Boop, boop. Okay, how did I play that part? <clears throat> I think the first time around there was not bad. Do, 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 do. Let's switch the camera. Last time I did this stream, this webcam went way out of sync. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. What are we doing right now? We are processing guitars. And what do I do for that? I like the Reve 1176X compressor. makes everything sound better. There we go. I'm just going to leave it at default. That worked. Never mind. It's got too much. Oh, no. I lied. Maybe my playing is just inconsistent. I don't know if I like the way that turns around, but I like that ending. F sharp major, I'm bad at theory. That's an E major, A major, B something. And then, I don't know, it just doesn't feel good going down to that F all day. I'm trying to come up with a chord progression that wouldn't suck to sing on top of, you know? Seems kind of generic so far. That's why I like putting that chord in. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, so let's put some drums in at this tempo. Because that's the cheat code usually to making it sound like a song. Because I'm not a drummer. So we have a digital thing. Oh, don't crash the computer. Try so hard for all this stuff to like work every time and it doesn't, but it's supposed to. My favorite question customers ask at work, they're like, how much do you have to spend to make it work like every time? And like, it doesn't. Wrong question. What kind of drums do we want? Let's go for, I don't know, what's in this roomy category? I usually like the big sounding drums. Huge snare kit. I'll, I'll bite. First thing we got to hear is that huge snare. Sounds like Nirvana. Reggae. Oh, I'm not a reggae musician, but that's a hell of a fucking drum sound. Oh, that's just like a shotgun blast. I want to use that for like Slipknot. Should we write a Slipknot song? No, I have an acoustic guitar. No Slipknot. We'll use huge snare kit. Why not? Maybe it'll sound like Nickelback because this guitar has that Chad magic. Uh, basic drums. So what do I have so far? It's just like... You need like a hi-hat intro? What do we have? What's in this tempo? I will steal some MIDI from somewhere I can find it. Uh, doop -a -doop -a -doo. We're at 107, so any of this like 102 stuff should fit. Not that. Nope. Nope. They say hats intro, but somebody keeps hitting the fucking kick drum. Okay, we'll ignore the kick drum. Nope. 
What's in this one? I want something with like a quiet intro, but like all that stuff is just doom, doom, doom. Yeah, why not? It's gonna be a big rock song by the end. It always ends up that way. That's the same thing with a different kick part, so we'll see which one of those fits better. Too much. Like that one. Do, 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 do. What's this? The hi hat's getting turned up now. Could be a uh, bit of a pre course thing. Oh, that wanted to be a pre course, but then the guy kept hitting the drums. Okay, I think we have enough of that stuff now. I'm going to fix that. So the one part I didn't like was this one was cool. But I, I don't know. It didn't need those that ending bit. I just thought I liked the... Do, do. Yeah, there we go. Then I could go to a course. So what do we have so far? That is not a bad little ditty. So let's put all of it together so I can see it as one big old drum part. Make sure that, yeah, the kick drum is like getting hit super hard. That's not essential. So we can turn down the kick drum by finding the button I'm looking for. That's the one. Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing all of a sudden. I thought I knew how to do that one pretty easy. Uh, what did I just turn down? I don't even know. This isn't going well. Mm, automate. Wrong button. Oh, that's the, it's hiding the one I need. Okay, velocities. Let's try to do that guitar better. And again, I'm just going to loop that drum part, so hopefully we can, uh, I don't know, get, get good at it. <clears throat> Please. up that high part but that's not bad so is that the pre-course can I go right into it There's something there, but how do we get from parts to parts? I think that was a chord, so let's just try those chords at this tempo.
that as a course, but we'll use it later. How do we get from this to that? starts an A, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. What, okay, we might be able to put this all together. Those drums don't fit yet, so we will leave them alone for now. Was is lackluster. Because I played it wrong. That's why the chord didn't work. Ah, it's bad because I don't know the names of the chords, or I would tell you what they were. That'd be like good information. It'd be educational and shit. good enough but let's put it together just to preview you know the the vibe ah no don't drag a new track ah that was my mistake I slipped now nothing wants to be right again no we're fine oh there's why did ah sometimes things get dragged around and it confuses my pea brain ah do 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 still don't fit but does the part fit let's write some drums for it so that it does maybe do, 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 do. that needs to be cut into another part so now we can yeah we'll just do that I want to try to use those drums though still or at least that idea of it where's the kick drum there's the kick drum how hard does he hit the kick drum Open hi hat, where's that? Uh. Come on, give me a hi hat that I want. I want like the perfect level of open. Maybe I hit it harder? I know, I, there's a better hi-hat, I know it. There we go. If I play that in the right time, I think that will work. These always sound really happy and boppy when I just crap the songs out quick. I don't know why that is. I don't always feel happy and crappy. I guess those are complete opposites, but I feel like you get it. What do we got? Boop, boop. Cow, do cow. 
Actually, no, okay, let's try not to program some MIDI. Let's see if I can cheat and grab some, like, things that sound like drums. See, that's so much faster. Okay, what else do we got? It's eh, a lot of ride. Bunch of hi hat open stuff, maybe. I like when they open on a big splash. Oh, yeah, that's a good groove. Now we're into it. What else we got? That's a good, like, turnaround-y thing. I don't know. We'll find a way to sandwich this all together. Nope. Okay, not a lot in there maybe, but we got some good parts. Now nah, nah, the double kick's a little much. Ah, it's too busy. Ah, okay, let's just go back to this. They don't line up yet. That's because it's got a different swing, but I like that swing. So let's use that swing. What are the chords again, though? This is going to sound terrible. Put in the weird part. Maybe, ah, stop missing the part I want it to drag to. Be accurate. And then what if I go and just put that part again? Be lazy. Let's put a fill at the end there. Toms? We haven't put many toms in this song yet. Does that go back into this kind of thing, though, is the next question that nobody asked. Ooh, it doesn't? Okay, so let's cut this apart so that it kind of makes sense as a structure. And then try and turn it into a structure, because I guess it's not yet. That's a course, though. That's a pre-chorus. That's a verse. So let's take the verse drums and put them there again. Because, ah, wrong button. That's supposed to be the second verse, so. We'll add snares to it or something so it doesn't sound so dead. Oh, but do I need a whole nother dropout pre-course then? How can I get back to another course? I have to sneeze. Okay, I need to play the acoustic guitar so it grooves with those drums better. Because that doesn't. Got, that's a pushed beat. So push the beat. One, two, three. No, that's not, those aren't the chords. You forgot it.
that's it, I think. Fingers be smart. One, two, three, four. Ah, there is okay, there is a beat I can make that better with. Why is it so zoomed? That should be there. What if the toms go up because the chord goes up? Is that a stupid choice or a good choice? Let's try to make that transition better. That's the second pre-chorus. It's just going on that guitar. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to flatten that down. We're going to copy and paste those drums over because I want some of those drums, but we're going to cut them off early. By early, I mean right there. I keep looking beside my microphone so I can see the keys. Double the acoustic guitar, put one on the left, one on the right. Do it again, but better, but the same. instruments to make that transition hopefully a little smoother like bass guitars and shit and by shit I mean bass guitar and like an orchestra maybe who knows we got hours do that one too right now because why not now there's no time like the present fuck i can know how to play it that wasn't the time oh let's change the camera angle there we go keep it exciting change the angles play that part right
Maybe we went a bar early with our earlier bleep. What if we were what if, okay? What if it went? Uh, yeah, let's try to replace those guitars and see if I can make it better. Mm, no, don't do the bleep. Just do the strum. a mute how about that you got to keep the uh, song sounding different right like make the parts better than they come around the second time or at least different oh but you got to play the right notes that opening strum pretty bad so we're gonna do some magic edit there and hopefully you can't hear it when it's all played together that's our secret I want snares in the second verse Put them far away, because why not? Every two bars? Sure, let's try that. Is that a pattern? All of these kicks can be louder because the second verse fucks and it goes boom, boom, boom. Let's put a flam in it because why not? Snare flam too? Maybe? That's a pretty loose snare flam, but we can tighten it up and make it sound good, I bet. What if we cut the hi-hat out of there so it sounds a little more real? Where is the hi-hat? I kind of like some of those. Mm, did I cut too many? More snares in it the second time around. Keep it interesting. Change it up here. Do -do. Do -do. 
Back to a course, maybe? Copy. Paste. That sounds like a drummer doing drummer things, so. What do we have, folks? Right now it is uh, verse, pre course, course, verse, course. So let's put acoustic guitars in that second course. And I feel like I should pick up a bass guitar and maybe put some bass on these parts, maybe write a new part, but I have to pee. So I will be back in five minutes with a different instrument and an empty bladder. Uh, give me a sec. eat much breakfast so far today like I had a pop tart over there but that's it or no I had a muffin did I have a muffin yeah I always buy blueberry muffins and then they go bad before I finish them bass guitar
This is a Dingwall NG2, which I usually have in a different tuning, but the main base I want to use for standard tuning I don't yet own. It is hiding in a back room at my job, though. It is the same color as my Strat and my car. And the fact that it's the same color as my car kind of meant I had to have it, not going to lie. But uh, it's also just really handy to have bases for the amount of tunings I use. So let's get a bass tone going here. Let's plug it in. Input number two, because it's the B7K, yeah. Bass. Okay, hey, kitty cat. Nookie is awake. I'm also going to record a bass DI, though, because that usually just... Oh, big jump. Good job, back legs. You're doing fine. Okay, do I want to pick or finger the bass? I don't know yet. Let's get a sound first. Ooh, that's weird. The problem with this bass guitar is that it's really good at being heavy metal. Like, it's just so good at being heavy metal. And it, don't get me wrong, it's great at everything else too, but I kind of always use it for heavy metal. So I forget how to dial it in for not heavy metal, but that's pretty good now. Finger it is. Okay, back to the show. Screen plus bass. Also, this thing has really crooked frets, which is just a neat thing that makes the bass go really well. Okay, back to that one. I try to keep it educational when I can. Oh, I thought it froze for a second. I should save this before I actually like have a stroke because that has happened far too often. Not the stroke, but the crashing what should we call this song so far we're just gonna call it 107 and we'll come up with a real name later because right now the tempo is 107 right right yep good enough so bass ah stop going away Uh, okay, what do I need to do to make this song make a little more sense structurally right now? That guitar needs to be deleted. Just so it actually... Okay, so... Do -do 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 -do, that's the pre-chorus guitar. That is the verse guitar. And that's the bass, and that's the bass DI. Don't forget to label your things, Rick, or you always forget later. Do we just start right honking with bass? tune already they just announced the evertune bass bridge that i've been hankering for and that will go on my uh silver bass that i don't yet own but until then we're tuning like everybody else let's try to write like a cool bass line
it didn't turn around well. No, that was good. Boom. Just go from there. Okay, what what is it? What are the notes? What are the notes you want to play? going down Got the chords but maybe what i played was okay let's find out i don't know there was like a harmony in there but doing harmonies on bass doesn't always work the right ending maybe but no okay so does that work how can we make it work actually try to play it. Nope. That definitely wasn't it. Maybe that's it. It's like guitar rhythm. Yeah. Ah, why does that chord fit? I don't know if that's it, but I want to do that somewhere. this whole part
Let's change the acoustic guitar to match the bass because the bass is better. <clears throat> That's what an acoustic guitar sounds like through a bass amp. Ain't nobody got time for that. J45, arm. Step one, learn the chords. Oh, it's up. I was playing the wrong pattern. Well, maybe they go against each other, and that's the cool thing. Let's find out. I need a metronome or I'm going to fall apart. fingers less and hit the same chords with more notes cuz more strings now I'm gonna save that hit to do the last chord like I wanted to. I messed up the open strings. fingers in the wrong spot, frankly. Hear those bass edits that like tore it apart at the end there? That means I fucked up something along the lines there. Uh, okay, no, let's just go back to bass. Bass of guitar. El bass guitaro. While well, we also eat a pop tart. Back to the action. I'm only playing the last note. Nope, that was too soon. just fell into that. 
the base can be simple in the course for now. We'll save all that because for now, that's some base. Let's mix it a little bit because that base isn't setting in the mix so well just yet. Here's the part where you listen to isolated bass guitar and chewing. Everybody's favorite noises combined. through like the presets that are just built into this thing. Uh, where are they? Put that in your mouth, Rick. It's the microphone. Clean bass. Any of these sound cool? I usually like Corsosaurus. It's fun. Vibe. That's something alright. That's subby. Stereo Traveler. Scoop it. I don't know. I like. Not liking much of this. Experimental! Oh, Growler was neat, actually. What's that? Oh, the tuning's weird, so no. Percolator? That vibes. Why not? Let's find a way to put that in the song. And by the song, I mean this idea we currently have. It's up like bongos or something almost. It's got a little too much high end on it. That could be a goddamn intro, that's cool. Let's just copy and paste that over here for now. How does it play with the actual bass guitar? Do I ever put those together? It's not a bad effect, so does it fit anywhere else in this song? I like how it has that knocky thing on it, but I want to knock that off a little bit. guitar part was. Yeah, I kind of just wrote a pretty bass part. Let's just use that for that part. OK, 
Okay, so that, that effect is growing old on me quickly. But I can't help but think it might be useful for something somewhere. I, I, maybe it's an intro. I don't know. I like that, like, I like something about it. What if we drag and drop it way over there? Get this part way out of there. Because so far, what's the course? I'm keeping it. But who knows? Why is it frozen? It scares me when it's frozen. <clears throat> Why is it so frozen? This is a bad sign. Shut up, me. Come on. I know I hit save at one point already, so that's a little crisis. Oh, the computer's not responding to any touch on that side. Okay, that's not good. Well, folks, this is where we get into crisis mode. This has only happened once or twice on stream so far. As sick of a setup as you can create, it can still totally fall apart at a moment's notice. So how do I do something? I need to... Okay, let's go back to that angle so I can stop thinking about that and okay yeah it won't even hmm hmm no I'm going to kill audio for a second and be back in five we're gonna see if I can solve this quickly Okay, real talk. I don't know what's happening. The uh, computer is completely frozen. The audio still seems to be passing through it just fine, because from what I can tell, you can hear me, and I can still hear... Yeah, I can still hear me in the headphones. I was starting to like that a little bit. Um, I put on that thing that was full of crazy effects, and then I dragged it around, and I think that's what uh, suicided this machine today. So the only known fix I have is to just turn it the fuck off and restart. I think it'll save a good portion of what I've recorded, at least everything before I hit save. That will, though, inevitably cut this. So we made it. How, how long was I doing this for? An hour. Ah, oh, just uh, only an hour and it crashed on me. That's a record. These videos are usually three to four hours and I finish an entire idea. A entire idea. An entire idea. My brain's turning to mush. Stress is setting in. We made it to episode 7 without a epic fail. I'm going to consider that a temporary epic win. Pat myself on the back for a job quarter done. And, um, I don't know, maybe cry? I, I got to figure out what happened.
and how to make it not happen again. Oh, that gave me an anxiety attack saying that because I don't know what to do. So thanks for tuning in if you have. I'll even put this on YouTube because that's the kind of where it's straight on the face that I can do. Um, sure, this has been episode seven, The First Fail. This song will be called The First Fail if I ever save it. How about that? There's your show for today. I can't believe that was such a letdown to me creatively. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it and, like, I don't know, take a nap or something and uh, solve computer issues. Who doesn't love that? But that's not really uh, entertaining. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go away now. Goodbye.